Hey guys, welcome back to this week's weekly reading vlog, and I'm doing a themed reading vlog this week, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, let me know down below. I will do them more often. This is my first themed reading vlog, and I have quite a few books. I have three mainly set aside, and then I have four more set aside. If I can get to them, I will. But I'm going to go over the three main ones that I want to share with you guys. Which is What the Heck by What the Hex by Jessica Clare. This is the sequel to Go Hex Yourself, which I really enjoyed. I read that, I think, in August. And I want to continue. I don't know if you can tell by this cover what the theme is of this reading vlog. This follows witches and, and warlocks. And then this one follows the two characters, side characters, in the first one. So this follows Penny and William. So I'm excited to see where this one goes. This is a witchy rom-com one. Then I have... I think this is Witches, I'm not 100% sure, but I have Bring Me Your Midnight, the newest book by Rachel Griffiths, and this is a YA, but it should take me no time to read. So I'm excited to read this, and underneath the cover, underneath the dust jacket is stunning. I showed this in my vlog when I bought the book, so, but when I read it, I read without the dust jacket on half the time, so. You'll see the naked hardcover. I don't know if you can see, see it a little bit, but I know nothing about any of these, so I'm going into most of these blindly. And then the last book I planned for this vlog is The Kiss Curse by Aaron Sterling. And for the Throne of Horrors, hosted by Bella over at Throne of Pages on her Discord, we have to read, one of the prompts is to read a book with an animal in it, and this one has a cat on the cover. Hopefully there's a cat in the book, so we'll see, and that'll count toward that prompt. And another one is a hyped book, so I want to say any of these would work for that. But I have The Kiss Curse. This is the sequel to The X Hex, which I read a couple of years ago, and I never read The Kiss Curse, so... I need to get the Kiss Curse, the X Hex, so I can reread it and then buy the Kiss Curse if I enjoy it. So, those are the three books that I plan to read during this video. I can't talk. Video. But if I do manage to read all of these and I still have time to read more, I have four more options that I can read, so I'm going to quickly go over those. One's a sequel to a book, so I don't know if I'll get to it, but I'll quickly mention it. It's a YA. So I have two more romances and two more YA books. So it's kind of a mix of romance and YA. So I have the sequel to this book, The Western Society, The Western Arena Society of Irregular. I don't remember the title of that one, but I have the sequel here which is The Leagues of Gentle Women Witches by India Holton. I really love the first one, so I'm excited to read a sequel and see where this one goes. So here's an option for this vlog. I have A Witch's Guide to Fake Dating a Demon. This one could count as a hyped book. So, and it's quite long too. So there's that, but I'm excited to read it in October. Then the y YA ones, I have Best Kind of Magic by Crystal, Crystal, I don't know how I pronounce her last name, but I won this on a giveaway a while ago and never read it, so I need to read it. And then from the library, they had the sequel, so I checked it out, and this is the Sweetest Kind of Fate, which is the sequel to Best Kind of Magic. So, if I can get to these four, I will. But that's just a 
So I'm going with three for now. If I can read more, I will. I don't know which one I'm going to start first. I think I'm going to start with What the Hex and go from there. But I'm going to go and I will update you guys when I have a reading update. Okay guys, it is 9.04pm and I have started reading What the Heck, What the Hex, and I'm actually really enjoying this one. I'm in chapter 14, page 110, so I'm thoroughly enjoying this one. It has big dating in here and there's a um it's definitely fake dating and what's the other trip was mentioned um it starts out as enemies to lovers so and then they go to fake dating so i'm enjoying this this counts for the prompts for What's the read zone called? Throne of Horrors that I'm taking part in on a Discord server that I'm in and it's to read a book with an animal in it. Our main character, Penny, has a pet squirrel. Really cute. So, um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm not expected to read that much in one sitting. I want to get to chapter 22 tonight, which is about halfway in the book so 22 is my goal and then finish it off tomorrow which is Tuesday and just found out I'm staying home from work all week so uh yeah from one job not the other I have the other I have my nephew so there's that if I can get to chapter 22 or 23 tonight, that would be great. This is a fast paced read, so I am definitely enjoying this. I'm glad I started with this one for my reading vlog this week. So quick, fast paced, fun, and it's really interesting as well. So there's that, but again, enjoying it. Oh. I wonder if we'll see any other characters from any, if, if she writes any other books, if we get any other characters. If not, I'm happy it's going to be a dwell. I'm happy this is only going to be two. I think it's only going to be two. Don't hold me on that. But if it is, I'm okay with that. I'm going to go read some more and then I will update you guys probably tomorrow. Hey guys, it is Tuesday. It is after 5. It's 5.28 p.m. It's almost 5.30. And work is gone for the day. I picked up the mess that he made. And now I can sit down and read What the Hex. I am loving this. I got to page 110 last night. I was going to read a little more, but then I started yawning and I pretty much crashed. So, like I said, I'm still enjoying this. Excuse me. I might be enjoying this a little bit more than the first one. But we'll see what this ends up, where this ends up going. But again, I'm enjoying it. It's a fun time. So, yeah. I'm going to read more of this today. going to maybe try and finish it. I have no plans today. So I might try and finish it. We'll see. So, um, yeah, try and finish it. I'll keep you guys posted. I do have to do some spreads in my reading journal, but I might do that tomorrow. While my nephew goes down for a nap. So I have two readathon spreads that I need to set up. I decided to partake in Vampathon this year, so I kind of copied Katie over at Katie is reading her journal spread that she did this year for Vampathon. So kind of copied that. So 
we'll see how mine ends up turning out. I don't have construction paper, so I can't use construction paper. So we shall see what ends up happening with that spread. So I'm going to see what happens with that. And we'll go from there. There's 16 prompts total, so I drew 16 individual squares, you'll see. Or I'll show you guys when it's done. So, and then the Throne of Horrors readathon that I'm partaking in, which this book is a prompt for because one of my prompts is to read a book with an animal in it. This one has an animal in it, our main character, like I mentioned, has a pet squirrel. He's so cute. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna continue reading. I am also wearing a mat reading. And I'll keep you guys posted. But I'm gonna go. Stop rambling. I'm gonna watch some YouTube. And I will update you guys later. Hey. Hey guys, it is still Tuesday, it's 8.23pm, and I am over halfway in What the Hex. This just got really good, and I'm on chapter 21, and it's definitely a fast-paced read. I'm still enjoying it. Our two main characters just admitted something, I'm not going to say what, but... They just admitted something to each other, and I'm excited to continue and see where this goes. It did fix up my romance shelf a little bit, which is that shelf right here, if you can tell. I put the front row, I put it by Publishing House, so I have Bloom and Berkeley on that front shelf, and this will go next to Go Hex Yourself when it's finished. So. If you're looking for a fast-paced read for October, this and Go Hex Yourself by Jessica Clare are just perfect for what you need. So, but again, I'm enjoying this. I'm going, the covers are very similar. Slightly similar. This is a darker blue, and the little objects on the front are different, and here's a lighter blue. They're going to look so pretty when they're next to each other on the shelf, and yes, so that's back there. I'm going to go, going to continue reading this until I probably pass out. I'm watching Kitty over at Kitty's Reading, re-watching some of her old vlogs, and yeah, but again, enjoying this so much, so I'm glad I got it. But I'm gonna go, and hopefully, if I don't finish this tonight, I'll definitely finish it tomorrow while the nephew goes down for a nap. So, the plan for tomorrow is finish this. If I don't finish it tonight. But I'm going to go and I will update you guys. If not tonight, then definitely tomorrow. Hey guys, it is now Wednesday. It's about 8. It's almost 9 p.m. actually. Um, I had work today and then after work I went out with my best friend for a couple of hours. And we just got home from dinner, so... I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I did not update you guys this morning because I kind of overslept. So, uh, I have not yet finished What the Hex. I am on page, chapter 23, page 194. So, this won't get finished today. That, uh, that's just, I'm just saying that right now. It's not getting finished tonight. I'm going to try and finish this tomorrow. That is my plan. And I have no plans tomorrow night that I know of. So I'm going to sit down after my nephew goes home and read the rest of this and start my second book. So since this is a romance, 
I'm probably going to pick up Bring Me Your Midnight next, which is a YA. And then I'll go into the Kiss Curse over the weekend. So, that's what I have planned for. That Those two stack of books is my TBR for the month, so I need to crack it. But, um, yeah. I'm going to finish this tomorrow. That's my goal. And go from there. I don't know if I'll read any tonight. If I do, it's probably going to be like a chapter or two. But... Again, I'm enjoying this quite a lot. So, uh, we're getting to the romance side of things. So, I'm excited to see where this goes. So, but yes, I'm going to go and I will update you guys probably tomorrow. Most likely tomorrow evening for me. So, yes. Hey guys, so it is now Thursday. Excuse the laptop, the Chromebook. You can see kind of trying to hide. There we go. Um, it is almost 8 p.m. on Thursday night. And I have not read anything for one. Can you see that? No, that's my blanket, I think. Hold on. Oh wait, is that back? You can't see. Making sure you guys can't see something. Sorry about that. But, um, I have not read yet today. Uh, I got out of the shower not too long ago, so... But, I want to try and finish What the Hex tonight. Hopefully I can excuse the TV on in the background, but I'm hoping to finish this tonight. And we'll see what happens. Because, yeah. When I finish that, I'm definitely going to start picking up Bring Me Your Midnight by Rachel Griffiths. I know nothing about this one. So, um, all I know is set in London. And our main character is set to marry the governor's son. It does involve witches. So, our main character's name is Tina. So, but I am going to pick this up next because it is a YA, so it should be quick. I have plans on Sunday afternoon, but that's in the afternoon, that's not till Sunday. But I have no plans as of right now for Saturday, so I'm probably just going to sit and read all day Saturday. So, yeah hopefully finish this. Uh, next weekend is going to be exciting on Saturday, so I may not vlog Saturday because uh, my best friend and I are going to see Disney on Ice on Saturday afternoon, next Saturday afternoon, 21st. So we are both very excited for it. We have both never been to Disney on Ice. And it's going to be exciting, fun time. So we are seeing that Saturday, next Saturday afternoon. So I'm excited for it. So, but I'm going to try and vlog this weekend, and we're gonna go from there. I might start watching some of my Halloween movies this weekend as well. So um, you guys should see that. I'm either debating on watching them on my projector or on my TV, so not sure which yet. So, I did earlier today while my nephew was napping. I didn't want to vlog it because I wasn't sure if that all the movement was going to wake him up. So, I did set up my... It's not decorated yet. But I did set up my spread for Throne of Horrors readathon. That's happening over on Discord. So there's a bingo board and I have the prompts and everything. So I have been reading past my bedtime lately so I can cross that off the list. 
I was going to print out the bingo board and place it in here, but it was taking forever to print, so I just hit cancel and just made my own bingo board. So, did that, and then, yeah, what the hex is my werewolf prompt, read a book with an animal in, the, in it, and our main character has a pet squirrel, so I think it's really, really cute. And then I'm also working on my, I decided to partake in Vampathon this year, hosted by Jody. I'm still working on the spread, so it's not quite done. I need to fill in the prompts for it. I got this idea from Katie over at Katie is Reading, so yeah, I still need to draw my the little blood dots that I'm going to do on Vampathon on the title, so I could have wrote the title sideways but didn't want to so and I drew a little witch's hat and a pumpkin down here I'll probably do the same on this side so yeah so that's what I did this afternoon while my nephew was napping I still need to get caught up on the rest of the stuff in this journal so I need to get caught up on my reading challenges and my, um, doo -doo 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 something else. My books read, spread. So I need to get caught up on that. But I've been rambling. I'm going to go and I'll update you guys when I have a reading update. My mom, Gwen. My grandma, Ab Hey guys, so... My nephew just left, and I did finish a book while my nephew took a nap today, and I finished What the Hex for this vlog. I really enjoyed this one, surprisingly. I gave it a 4.75 out of 5 stars. I think it's the same rating as the first one. Although I think I gave the first one four and a half. This one I enjoyed a little bit better. We, I don't want to say too much without spoiling, but we do get a little inside scoop of what's going down after a certain event happened in the book. I don't want to say what it is because I want to avoid spoilers. And then our main character, Penny, gets a scheme of her own to fix the problem and yeah I enjoyed that what she came up with that but really enjoyed this and yeah let's finish this while my nephew was napping today so now I'm going to read more of Bring Me Your Midnight by just Rachel Griffiths this is without the dust jacket on this is the front cover that's the back. I love her books. This is a witchy book, so I can use this. I'm going to try and find some of the words for the bingo board for um, Throne of Horrors. So, going to try and find some of those in these books that I'm reading for the month and see if I can find any. And I can cross off one thing on the bingo board, which was hydrate, because I drank a glass of water this afternoon, and I have another glass that i just about to finish, so I can check that off the list. And, yeah, but I'm going to continue with Bring Me Your Midnight tonight. I have no plans tonight that I know of, although I do want to go to Barnes & Noble and get Sword Chaser by Cassandra Clare. I can't talk today. This book that she wrote, wrote is not set in the Shadowhunter world. What? <laughs> so I'm excited to get that and then gonna go from there. I'm gonna ask my grandpa if he can take me real quick because my mom is still not home. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to go, and I will update you guys later. 
Hey guys, it is Saturday. It's a little after 10 a.m. And I did quite a bit of reading last night. I read past my bedtime, so I can cross that off the list for the Throne of Horrors readathon that I'm participating in on Discord that I mentioned throughout this week. I did start two books yesterday, and then in this readathon, we have a bingo board and we have to find a couple words that are scattered throughout the bingo board. I found quite a few in one book, but I did start Bring Me Your Midnight by Rachel Griffiths. It's a slower start. I'm on chapter five, page 42. So I'm gonna read more of this. Yes, witches are involved. So it is counts for this prompt, for this reading vlog. Um, on the front, it says, he comes alive in darkness, so darkness I have become, and the back, it says, their hands joined. I'm trying to figure out who this person is. I don't know if it's the guy we met already, Landon, or if it's somebody else. I'm curious to find out, but I'm enjoying it. So there's that. I also started last night where I found all of the words that we need to find. I started the kiss curse by Aaron Sterling. This is the sequel to the XX, This Follows Guinevere, our character's cousin from the first book. What's her name? Evie? Livy? Um, blanking Vivi. And this follows Guinevere and one of the other brothers that Reese has. I can't remember which brother. But it follows one of the, those two. I'm on page 30. I'm not sure what chapter I'm in. I'm on chapter 3. So this is a bit of a faster read than Bring Me Your Midnight is. So after my errands today with my mom, I'm going to sit down and probably read more of this one. We'll see because other than Barnes & Noble and helping my mom... I have no other plans today, so I'm going to sit and read, and it's supposed to rain, so it's perfect reading weather. I'm in my long sleeve Sally shirt, and I have black jeans on, so that's my outfit for today. I'm not sure if I'm going to put tennis shoes on or boots on. I'm probably going to put tennis shoes on because it's not quite cold enough here for boots yet. It's only like 69 degrees outside, so... But with the rain, it's going to make it feel colder. But I will show you guys the rain. I'll show you what I get from Barnes & Noble. I'm getting two books from Barnes. And then... That's it. I'm getting Sword Chaser, Sword Catcher, and then I'm going to get Spy Family which is up there behind me, volume 10 that came out on Tuesday, so I'm going to get that as well. So, yeah, I think that's all I'm getting at Barnes. I could pick up another book, who knows, we'll see, but those are the two I'm going for today, so. But I'm going to go, and I will update you guys when I have some things to update you guys on. Okay guys, I'm back from my errands and I have eaten lunch, so it's a little while later. We did go to Barnes and we did go to Walmart. So at Walmart, I got, finally found it. It's been out on DVD for a while, but Walmart's never had it in stock. They had it in stock today. Nice Transformers Rise of the Beast. This is the latest installment. I did take my best friend for her birthday to go see this, so yeah finally have this now and I'm probably going to watch it and cry my eyes out once again if you know you know I'm not going to say what but if you know you know I'm finally glad I have this and I cannot wait to watch it again and at Barnes they did not have Spy Family Volume 10 I was a little upset and I did not get sword catcher because it's a little expensive and I'm gonna wait on that one so but I did get two more books to a series that I have 
Chenny to start. I did get Killer Instincts and All In by Jennifer Lynn Barr. This is the second and third book in this natural series. So I did go ahead and pick up these two books. So yeah, the only one I need now is Bad Blood, which is the fourth one. And then I can have the rest of the series. So the entirety of the series, I just need Bad Blood. That's it. So I got those two books. And yeah. And I got Transformers. So, but I'm going to go try and read some. It's rainy outside. So, and it's gloomy. So I am going to try and read some and like I said I will probably watch this at some point today so there's that but yes Ooh, I am gonna go and I'll definitely update you guys later. Hey guys, it is much later. It is 7.35, 36 now p.m. on Saturday and my room is dark because I'm watching a movie on my projector. I'm in a movie mood tonight. So I did watch Rise of the Beast, Transformers Rise of the Beast earlier and I had dinner and now I'm just chilling. Reading The Kiss Curse, I'm on chapter 19 now. I am thoroughly enjoying this book. It's quick, it's fast paced, and I'm loving it. I am just about halfway through, and we have a bingo board for this readathon that I'm participating in, and I only need to find, there's certain words we need to find in the books we're reading, and this book has all. So far, I'm missing two. I'm missing treat and trick. This book had treats with the S, but not treat. I need treat. So I need two more words, and then I found all the words for this bingo board that I am doing with this readathon. But I am thoroughly enjoying this. I can see, well, not really see, but I can see the tension between our two main characters and it's crazy we follow Gwen who is Vivi's cousin and then we follow I don't even know how to pronounce his name but um yeah I don't even know how to pronounce his name but he is Reese's older brother so and yes I'm enjoying this and there's a little bit of a mystery going on in this one as well so um but yes I am going to continue reading The Kiss Curse tonight and I will definitely update you guys later so I do have plans tomorrow afternoon but other than that I will be reading so but yes I'm enjoying this quite a bit so yes finishing that but I'll update you guys either one more time tonight or tomorrow my lights got turned on so those are on my reef on my door is on as well so I'll show you guys that tomorrow night and I still have one more book I need to read for this vlog so I may not end this vlog tomorrow night so we'll see what happens we'll see how much I can get read and we'll see how long this vlog ends up being but I'm gonna go I've been rambling I'm gonna continue reading watching my movie and I will see you guys later Good morning guys, it's Sunday, so it is 9.12 a.m. I've been up for a little bit, and I'm going to try and finish the Kiss Curse today. I do have plans later this afternoon, so I'm going to try and finish the Kiss Curse. I am on page 
chapter 23, page 198. Almost 200, pa 200 pages in. So, but like I said, I'm going to try to finish this. Hopefully I can finish this before I leave. I have about 100 or so-ish pages left. We'll see what happens. But, I'm going to try and finish this. I do have... If I don't finish it now, I'll finish it when I get home. But I do need to pick up my room a little bit. It's a bit of a mess. So, yeah, I need to do that. I'll show you guys my journal spreads. I've actually decorated them this time. So, I will show you guys that later on. But for now, I'm going to try and wake up a little bit. And then pick up my room. I have to put my dirty clothes in my laundry basket. So, yeah, I gotta do that. And then, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that is it. So, um, but yes. Goal for today is finish the kiss curse. And make more progress in Bring Me Your Midnight, which is right there. So that's the plan for today. But I'm gonna go and I will definitely update you guys later. You'll see some books behind me or like, here's a wishy book behind me. If you see any other fantasy books that I'm not talking about, these are only the big recommendations. Hey guys, so it is definitely a lot later now. I'm not sure what time it is, so it feels a lot later. It's probably six something, but um, maybe seven something. I'll look in a little while, but I did not finish the Kiss Curse before I left. I almost finished with this. I'm getting to the good stuff. I'm on page 260, and there's 360 pages in here, I believe. 308 pages so I don't have much left I'm definitely finishing this before I go to bed tonight and then reading more of another book I started so I was out longer than I anticipated today but that's okay it was a fun it was a great day so there's that I'm watching Sarah Corley's newest video the fantasy video that she posted earlier while I was out so I am watching that right now and going to finish The Kiss Curse. So there's that. I'll update you guys my thoughts on The Kiss Curse. It's definitely a four star read. It's up there. Maybe a four and a half star read. I think I rated the X Hex of four stars and this one's probably going to be a four and a half. So. I'm enjoying this one, to say the least. So, let's see what the last little bit of this book does and see who the culprit is. I have a feeling I know who the culprit is. He's just hiding. So, they thought it was one person and it turned out it wasn't that said person. So, I think I know who it is. I'm going to keep it to myself. But I think I know who it is and the person's just hiding. So, but yes, I'm enjoying it trying to do this without spoilers so yeah but again like I said I'm loving it I'm gonna go back to Sarah's video finish this book and I will update you guys I don't know I just got out of the shower that's why my hair is going crazy I don't know what it's doing but I will update you guys when I finish the kiss curse Okay guys, so it is still Sunday. It is 9.28 p.m. Almost 9.30. I'm about to go to bed for the night, but I wanted to hop on here and say that I did finish The Kiss Curse by Aaron Sterling and I thoroughly had a good time with this. I guessed who the main corporate was. But I did not guess something else that happened at the end of this book. So the way this one ended makes me think there's going to be a another one. 
because the brothers are planning something at the end of this one. So, it makes me think there's going to be another one. Maybe with this middle brother, Bowen. Who knows? We'll see. But maybe it's going to be with the middle brother. And I do want to get these so I can own them for myself. I gave this one a four stars on Goodreads. But I might up it to a 4.75. So this one I enjoyed much more than the Kiss Curse, the X-Hex. So I did thoroughly enjoy this. I can see myself rereading these almost every year. I just need to own them. So this is done. And I did find another word for the bingo board for Throne of Horrors Readathon. I found Trick in, toward the end of this book. So now I just need to find a treat. That's the last word I need to find is treat. So I finished this. Loved it. So I think I'm going to extend the vlog a little bit longer until I finish Bring Me Your Midnight by Rachel Griffiths. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I did not know there were in pages at the back of this book. But I just found out when I was flipping through. Look at that. Holy crap, this book is beautiful. And I hope the story is just as beautiful. This does involve witches. So there's that. Witches are definitely involved in this one. And they live on a little island because our main character, Tina, likes to swim in the ocean. And she likes to dive. So there's an arranged marriage going on in here as well. But I'm not very far in this one. I am only on chapter five. So I'm hoping to read more of this this week. Finish it before the weekend. And start another book. So, But I did want to mention that I'm going to extend the vlog. For maybe another week or so. See how many witchy books I can read. And we'll go from there. So there's that. So I hope you guys don't mind a slightly longer vlog. Might end it Wednesday. Maybe. We'll see. But um, I do have a busy weekend ahead of me this weekend. So... Just wanted to hop on here. I am going to be filming some videos tomorrow once my nephew leaves, so you can keep an eye out for those. My September wrap-up, my reading journal setup. It's already set up, but I can show you guys. And then my book call for September and October, because I don't think I'm getting any more books this month. We'll see, but... As of right now, I have quite a few books combined for the months, last two months. So, but I'm going to go and I will update you guys when I've read some more of Bring Me Your Midnight. Hey guys, so it is Monday. It is 6.45 p.m. It's just getting dark out. I'm watching Destiny's video she just posted today. I have been reading Bring Me Your Midnight by Rachel Griffiths. It's picking, it's picking up. I'm on chapter 15, but it's slow going. I'm liking it, but I'm not loving it. So we met another character named Wolfie, and we don't know who he is. Um, he says he's part of the old covet coven. And what have you. So we're still trying to figure out his story. And what have you. So yeah. I'm on chapter 15. Going to read some more of this tonight. Because I have no plans whatsoever today. So. Going to read more of this tonight. And we're going to go from there. And this also has to deal with the currents of the water around the island called the witchery as well so that's interesting to read about 
and there's something called a moonlight flower in this that's involved so I don't know what that is but um I'm gonna figure that out too and when I do I will let you know so yeah I'm gonna continue reading and I will definitely update you guys later hey guys so it is 6 47 p.m on tuesday night this is the first time you're seeing me today i haven't read anything because the book i'm currently reading bring me your midnight i'm not feeling this one at the moment i'm on page chapter 20 page 178 so i think i'm gonna put this down for now and then maybe come back to it later on in this vlog so I this is a theme vlogged if you haven't can't tell reading books about witches this would be my second book no third book excuse me my third book of this vlog but since I'm not enjoying this one I'm gonna put it down for now and I'm going to pick up a witch's guide to fake dating a demon now, I know nothing about this one. I only know a little bit. And, uh, Morali Spark is a powerful witch seen in centuries in her family. And she summons a spell. When a spell to summon flower goes wrong, and then she ends up summoning a demon instead. So, um, that's all I know about this one. So, I love the cover of ours. I just recently saw the cover for the UK cover. And I don't care for that one. I like this one better. So, I'm gonna start this tonight. See how far I can get into. This is about 400 pages. So... It is 390 with the acknowledgements, so it is probably mm, 380, 390, so it is 390 pages. It is almost a 400 page book, romance book, so I'm going to start this tonight, see how I feel later, and... Might try and get 100 pages in. We'll see what happens. So, but I'm going to start this one tonight. And then later on, I'll go back to Bring Me Your Midnight by Rachel Griffiths. So, I watched Katie over at Katie is Reading's vlog where she read that book. And she explains it a lot more than I do how she's feeling about it. I'm pretty much feeling the same way. It's okay. It's not like her other two books that I really enjoyed, Wild is the Witch and Nature is the Witch. So I really enjoyed those two by her. So, but yes, I'm going to go start this one and then I will talk to you guys. If you don't see me tonight, you'll probably see me tomorrow. So I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys. Sorry for not updating in a few days because I really haven't read anything. So I'm going to go ahead and close out this themed reading vlog for you guys. I read two books and started two more. I wasn't loving the third book that I started so I put that down. And then I never picked up, never continued the second book that I started. So we're going to roll with what I've read. I finished What the Hex by Jessica Clare, and I really enjoyed this. I gave this a 4.75 stars. Not quite the 5 stars, but if you want a fast rom-com romance for the witchy season, the Halloween season, this is perfect. Because it's set in a small town, and they go all out. This small town goes all out. So, and we have... Warlocks, familiars, and all this fun stuff in here. So this is perfect for this time of year. And then with that, I also read 
The Kiss Curse by Aaron Sterling. This is the sequel to the X Hex, which I enjoyed and I thoroughly enjoyed this one. I think I gave this one a 4.75 stars as well. So, again, another small town. They go crazy for the fall. They have festivals and all sorts of stuff in this book. So this follows Guinevere, who is a cousin to Eve Livy. I am blanking on the first book cousin's name. And yeah, so again, thoroughly enjoyed it. If you want quick reads for the season, these two are it. I think this is what put me in the little slump that I got into because two great reads and yeah so but those two then I started Bring Me Your Midnight by Jessica not Jessica Rachel Griffiths and I got about 179 pages in chapter 20 and it's okay I am going to finish it at some point, just not right now, and go from there. I love the writing, it's just the story is taking forever to get to the point where I'm almost 200 pages in and still haven't gotten to the point yet of this book. So yeah, it takes a while for this one, so I put it down. And then I did pick up A Witch's Guide to Fake Dating a Demon and never picked it back up. I read four pages of this. That's it. So I will be picking this one back up again here shortly. So that is everything for this themed vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below if you've read any of these. If you want to see another themed vlog, let me know down below. And like, subscribe, comment, leave any mm, witchy wizard emoji down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.